and welcome. Today we're going to have a look at one of my absolute favorite snakes, which of course is the California king snake. With me here I have Barnaby. She's a female and I believe that she's around four years old. As you can see, Barnaby here, she's very active, which is also one of the reasons why these guys are one of my favorite types of snakes. She's very active, she's very curious. Besides that, the California king snake really do grow to quite an impressive size. They don't grow too big or too small, but they do grow to be this very, very decent size. I believe it's something around 1.5, 1.4 meters, if I remember correctly. If not, of course, I've written it right down here for you guys. Besides the size of these guys, they're actually quite similar to the corn snake as well. So you can almost see them like a bigger kind of a corn snake. And when I say that, of course, I mean that these guys are very, very hardy, which means that they don't really require that much uh, when it comes to setup. And if you are making a few mistakes, these guys really don't mind at all. Which means that if your temperature isn't exactly on point, it's not gonna do any damage at all. And one of the really great thing about the Cali King is when it comes to humidity. Whereas, for example, the ball python really do require like a higher humidity Humidity than your average room humidity. The California king snake will do perfectly fine with just that. Of course, it can be necessary for you to add a little more humidity during the shed or if your average humidity in your room is generally not that high. But these guys will do perfectly fine with a humidity around 50%. But you really don't need to keep that much an eye on it because they will just do perfectly fine in your room. California king snakes in general are so, so easy to handle. Like you can see, she's not stressing out. She's not being, she's not trying to get away. She's simply just very very curious and very very calm. Of course when the California king snake is a baby they can be quite skittish as many other snakes but they will usually grow out of it. Like I've never ever had any trouble with Barnaby except for when I got her in the beginning when she was smaller. Like she would always be very very tense when I would open into the her terrarium but then I started to feeding her you know on a more regular schedule and it really did seem to calm her down a lot. And as you can see now she has grown pretty much. She's a very 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 good size. I cannot wait for her to grow even more. Also, another thing I really want to point out about the California king snake is that they are not that easily stressed. Whereas, for example, the ball python can get easily stressed and will, for example, stop eating. The chance of a stressed California king snake is very, very low, although, of course, it can happen. And they're not really a moody snake. This is pretty much how they are all of the time, including if they are in shed. And also, speaking of shedding, uh, some snakes will refuse to eat during a shed. This California king snake is not one of them. Let's take a closer look at beautiful Barnaby here. Alright guys, that's all for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this little video on why the California King Snake is one of my absolute favorite snakes. Please let me know which snake is your favorite. Just write it right down in the comment section and remember to write why, of course. Please give the video a like so I know that you like what I make. It really does mean a lot to me. And while you're at it, just hit subscribe on that channel. Thank you guys for now and bye bye!